Okay, so I purchased this coax cable toolkit from Amazon for about 20 bucks. I'll provide the link in the description. And uh, next I want to show you what's included. And after that, I'd like to give you a quick demonstration of me using this tool, new tool. So in this kit, it includes a coax cable stripper. Now this is only a stripper, it doesn't cut. It only strips the cable. It uh, includes the crimping tool, a package of 20 F-type compression connectors for RG coax cable, and the instructions. So here's the stripper, pretty basic, spring-loaded, has an arrow indicating which direction to turn while you're stripping. It's adjustable. I didn't mess with any of the, the settings on here as I'll be cutting an RG dual shield coaxial cable. Some applications, um, you'll have the quad shield. And from my understanding, you can use this tool for quad shield. You have to, you have to make some adjustments. I'm not gonna go into any of that, but it is adjustable. It includes an Allen wrench. And these two set screws, you'll use your Allen wrench and just by turning the blade, I'm sorry, the, the Allen wrench and that set screw, it'll adjust the height of that blade. So I kept that all set up the way it was from the factory. So that's it's a pretty nice little tool. It's, it's light, pretty basic. Here's the crimping tool. Nice little rubber grip, pretty basic. And like I said before, it includes 20 of these F-type compression connectors. You wanna be mindful of the application. This is um, the application that I'm gonna be doing this is for the in indoor use. So you might have to get different connectors for outdoor use or, or, or somewhere that where it's rated for moisture. And you also want to consider the, these are these are meant for the dual shield. If you have the quad shield, you're gonna need different connectors. Next I just wanted to show you this is before I cut this is a piece that I had practice on. You might want to practice a few times making a cut if you have some extra cable laying around. So when I mentioned that this is a dual shield, you're gonna have your copper conductor, which is about 18 gauge, I believe. And then this next layer on the inside, let me refocus here. It's, it's like a white, it's white in color. That's the dielectric core. And then you're gonna have your two shields. You're gonna have like this, this foil. And then here's like a, below that would be the, the next layer that would make the second layer. And then some of them are braided. And it probably actually looks braided if you would cut this outer, ja the jacket on here. But that's what it's gonna look like after you cut it. It cuts pretty nice. Just wanted to give you a little explanation of what all these layers what they meant and what they are. So when you're getting ready to make your cut, you want to make sure that the cut is uh, it's flat. And if if you know if you're working with some old wire, you might want to cut it clean, come back an inch or so, just to give yourself some uh, some new material. So I'm going to take the cutter. Now it has a, a V notch that will give you the that's like a depth indicator as to how far to insert the cable in, into the into the into the mouth of this. So it's spring loaded. Press in and push that over. And we're gonna line that up almost flush with that. And as I mentioned before, there's an arrow. And when you go to turn this, you're gonna turn it about three or four times you'll feel the difference as, as every time you make a pass, there's a little less friction. So here we go. One, two, three, 
floor. I'm gonna go a couple more times, it doesn't hurt. And then I'm gonna release it. And you'll see here, because it has two blades in there. So there's your, your first blade and your second blade. So I'm gonna go ahead and make my cut and I'm gonna spring load it like I said. I'm gonna press down, slide that through, and line that up with that, that, that V notch there. And I'm gonna turn this three times. There's that arrow, as I mentioned before. And three or four times, nice and smooth. One, two, three, four. Now I can keep going a couple more times, it wouldn't hurt. And I, as I turn that, as I make each pass, you'll feel a little less resistance. So I can either pull this straight off and, and, the, and it'll make the two cuts, but I wanna, I'm gonna show you what the cuts will look like. As, as I mentioned before, this has two blades on it. And there's your two, two cuts. So here's my first cut and as you can see it removed all the layers down to the copper conductor that 18 gauge copper conductor and then our second layer here just give it a little twist and that'll come right off so now I'm gonna take these, these strands of metal wire here and I'm gonna thumb them back work my way around you want to keep these on here that's part of that insulation that dull layer and if you have some strands that you can't catch with your finger you can get a flat bladed screwdriver or razor blade just keep thumbing that back So after I got done thumbing back that metal insulation there, I'm going to give it a quick inspection. I'm going to try to focus that in camera. And I want to make sure that there's no strands touching any of that copper conductor, that 18 gauge wire there. Looks pretty clean. Now I'm going to take my connector. Press this on. You might have to work it back and forth, just depends. Well, I got that pretty good that time. You want it to be as close as possible to being center in that, that hole and that white dielectric. You want it to just touch, just meet the surface of that hole there. Now we're ready for the to crimp. And I also wanted to note that you don't want the copper wire to protrude past this connector more than like a sixteenth of an inch. If you can thumb your finger back and forth, you're probably pretty good. Any longer than that, um, I think it's a little too long and you might damage any of your connections. So here we go. I'm going to make my, my crimp fits into that slot just like so and I'm gonna at the bottom of that that fitting it has there's like these white bars here to keep that firm in there while you're making that connection there we go I'm gonna squeeze and there we go our connections made give a little tug that ain't going anywhere I think that worked out pretty well. Overall, I'm pretty happy with this tool kit. It's pretty basic for what, for what I'm gonna do with it. Um, I'm, every once in a while you run into a situation where, you know, if you're doing like a flooring project or you gotta move some wires around, it doesn't hurt to have this. And you can get these connectors in any of the 
the box stores, you know, Lowe's or Home Depot, Amazon. So it's a nice tool to have handy for 20 bucks. I don't think you can go wrong. So far, I've, I've used it maybe half a dozen times and I haven't had any problems with it. I would recommend it. Thanks for viewing and uh, please subscribe if you like my content. Have a great day.